Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Gothic Night of the Raven. It's been now, uh, this is meant to be episode 78 now, I think. Unfortunately, this is going to be 79, because mainly because of two reasons. Uh, firstly, is that it took me four re-records uh, to record the previous episode, and I just couldn't get a perfect recording because fraps wouldn't record properly and the second reason is because that save file is lost now for some reason I just cannot open that save file so I can't make um, that record again because I saved uh, after I made the record I saved here and after my fourth record I tried to open the exact same file and it wouldn't open so I have to start from here Basically, what I did was three quests. Uh, Tolof had two quests that I didn't do. One was, uh, let's just check. Tolof Sphere of uh, the Dark Man. That's basically killing a seeker, a specific seeker. He can be found at the bandit camp just near the bridge. You have to kill that seeker, not hard or anything. Collect the rent. That's basically collecting the rent of Sekob. Uh, that's pretty self-explanatory. And the Lone and Helpless. That's the quest I was starting last time. Basically, all you need to do is just talk to Wolf. Then talk to Malak. He can be found in the crevice just under the bridge of the ba um, bandit camp. Uh, you can do that at the same time as killing the Seeker. He's not find hard to find. Okay, now... Uh, let's get back to the quests. Well, there's only one quest really left, but let's just first talk to Gorn. Ah, Never mind. You've come. What's up, Vyas? I found this in the old chapel. It's a magic moon. I think it will teleport you straight back here to the farm. I thought you might be able to use it. If you get involved in a duel with the mercenaries, that's one thing. But if you beat up on a farmer, they run straight to Onar. And he expects me to do something. You'll have to pay a penalty. Onar pockets the money himself as a rule, but it's the only way to settle the matter. How much? Uh, Three hundred gold pieces. I want to pay the penalty. Good. I'll see to it that Onar gets the money. You can consider the matter forgotten. I brought Lord Hagen your peace offering. Oops. What did he never say? mind. That's Don't worry about that. Let's see... there. I have freed Gorn. That's a yes, you already told me. Good work. He's worth more than Silvio and his boys put together. Don't you have anything else for me to do? You can't get enough, hmm? <laughs> You're in plenty of trouble as it is. What else do you want, then? Another assignment. I'm a mercenary, remember? All right, I've got something. It's just a thing for you. I have a debt to settle with the judge in town. I'd actually prefer to do it myself. But the paladins wouldn't let me within a stone's throw of his house. The thing has to be handled with a bit of consideration, so pay attention. You'll go to the judge and offer him your services. You'll try to win his trust and carry out some dirty work for him until you find something to incriminate him. The swine has done so many dirty jobs that it stinks to high heaven. Bring me something I can use to blacken his name with the militia, so that he spends the rest of his life molding in the slammer. But I don't want you to kill him. That would be too quick. I want him to suffer, understand? Do you think you can do that? No problem. How much? About that. Your reward depends on what you bring me, so make an effort. Uh, there we go. I've come from the Valley of Mines. The castle there was attacked by dragons. So it's true. Lara said that rumors about dragons are circulating through the city. I didn't believe it. What about the paladins? They've been thoroughly decimated. Good. Maybe now Lord Hagen will think again about my offer. And if not, then we'll find another way to get out of here. Okay, so, uh, 
let's go to um, the easiest way to get there is probably to go to Xardis but I just rather save and then just go there so see you there okay the judge's house can be found right over here it's got a guard guarding it that's because he's guard so anyways enter it basically the guard does nothing even when you steal stuff from his house so just talk to the judge sacred hammer. Now uh, we still haven't been to the monastery so I'm gonna take the hard way in and that's through the secret entrance. Well actually not a secret entrance, more like a glitched entrance. But you'll see. So let's go to the monastery and I'll show you the glitched entrance. Okay the path to the monastery is over here basically from the tavern go east or north or I'm not sure which way it is but basically if you're looking at the uh, at Onar's farm just go west and just follow this path I already cleared out all the monsters except that random rat so keep going and you should find yourself oh and I should complete a quest uh, that Vatris gave me. Let's. Oh, and a stone tablet. Let's talk to Isgaroth. Hey. Inos be with you. What can I do for you, Wanderer? I carry a message from Vatras. What is this message? It's a letter. Here. Good. You can tell Vatras that I have received the message. Take these potions as a reward for your service. They will surely be of use to you. May Inos watch over you always. That was easy. Okay, um, now uh, I'll show you the secret entrance. Oh, why do I keep saying it? It's secret entrance. It's actually called a glitched entrance, but still, it's pretty secret. Um. Basically, I'm not going to talk to Pedro. Oh wait, Pedro doesn't guard the monastery at the moment. He's the guy that... Oh, you'll see. Oh wait, is that Pedro? Yeah, hey, that is Pedro. Yeah, but I'm not going to talk to him. Okay, go over here. And... This is a pretty difficult jump. But... Uh, with some luck, you may be able to jump up. Maybe. Ah, I almost fell. Okay. There we go. Goody. Now, let's go down here. And you're basically inside the monastery. I can show you a few ways to get out. But now we need to find the basement thingy. Aha! There we go. Let's go down. And go inside here. Ooh, this is so interesting. And over there is the sacred hammer. Now I'm just gonna drink some potions, just in case the other guy is tough and will kill me. Okay, there. Now, let's just take it. Die, preacher. Ooh, 10 XP. 
Now that is the best experience I've ever gotten from killing a character. Okay, now I'm gonna finish up here. I think I'm already at the 10 minute mark. Well, basically, uh, I'm just going to stay here for a while, and in the next video, I'm going to show you how to get out of here. It's actually quite easy. Actually, I'm going to show you right now. Talk to Gorax. Can I be of assistance to you? What's your task here? My tasks are many and varied. Not only am I the steward, but I'm also the treasurer. Moreover, I supervise the wine cellar. Oh, we know you're a traitor, okay. Okay, he's got a key here. There we go, buy this key. And you can leave the monastery. So right now, see you later.